Welcome back to uh, another episode of the w walkthrough of Warrior Cats the game. When we last left off, I was completely stuck and unsure where I was supposed to go. Thankfully, I finally found the right place now. And it's not here, I'm just starting from here to help things out. Okay, first we actually want to go to the uh, Sunning Rocks, turns out. Took me a little searching around to discover the right place, but I finally found it. And once we get there, it's not the most normal of events, as you can see. There appears to be two cats drowning in the river. Though, if we go over to them, you find out they're kits. You barely manage to rescue the kits from the rushing current. You should return them to RiverClan's camp. So we do. And this is the first time we're actually able to cross the bridge. Go to RiverClan territory. And you'd think that you want to go up here, but there is too much water around for you to go up this way. And, oh, yeah, you can fight RiverClan warriors here, which is quite useful if you still need to level. The bottom left down there, you'll see a giant cavern thing. You won't need that till somewhere in the last book, I believe. We want to go here. ThunderClan cats here! Please tell us why you trespass on our territory! Steal you are! To steal you. Yeah, you don't want to say any of these. I believe they kill you if you do any of them. Hmm. Crooked Star, those are my kids. Thank you for all, all for rescuing them. Anything else we can do for you, Crooked Star? Is prey scarce because of riding floodwaters? Yeah, I've decided Greystripe would have this really manly tone of voice. And also, I've decided to bring back the voices once more. River Clan doesn't need help from Thunder Clan. You're too proud, Crooked Star. How are we supposed to get our own prey with all this flooding? We could give you some prey for our from our territory. Hmm. All right, but only until the flood water recedes. After that, you should stay away from us. Leave your prey at the bush near. The entrance to this part of the territory. Thank you again, both of you. And now apparently his entire clan disappears. And initially when I did this, the first time through, I thought he meant this bush, but he does not mean this bush. That bush will never move, there's nothing you can do with that. No, he means this big pink flowery bush here. Hmm. Huh. We better get moving, get more rabbits for River Clan. Can you guess where to get the rabbits? That's right, we get to go all the way back to the Great Sycamore. Oh, hunting is delightful. Once we get the rabbits, I believe we need three. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's three that's required. And just like before, the fastest way is through here. Well, it's basically the only way. You could go the other way, but that's a bit silly. Through here. And I've never explained what the fact that I don't entirely know why you can walk along this bit, but you do have to walk along this strip of ground. If you go any lower, then it doesn't work, and any higher, and it doesn't work. It's literally through there. And of all places, we get to hunt some more. Now, a good suggestion whilst you're here is actually to hunt quite a lot of things because even if you don't need them for the food, because by now you should be using catnip, not, like, prey, but even if you don't need these things for the food, then they're actually really good to sell. If you spend 20 minutes here just rapidly pressing enter till you gain shed loads of rabbits, then you go and sell them. That's actually quite a lot of acorns that you can get from the... Though, of course, it's not quite as good as fighting places. It's easy. You just constantly hit enter. Now, I need one... There's the one more rabbit. Actually, I think I have a... F nope. There we go. Bang on three. In the... In this game, unfortunately, you're unable to go fight WindClan to get rabbits. 
Though, as you'll find out in the distant future, in the New Prophecies game, you're able to fight with Wind Clan and their cats drop rabbits, which is very convenient. <sighs> Why are there so many badges in our part of the territory? I know, really, I should be driving them out and all of that, but... Really? Really this many? Or is it just this one badger that's chasing me constantly? Either way. And we're helping you, why are you attacking us? But yeah, place rabbit, place rabbit, and place another. And you're done. Greystype tells you some amazing news that he recently heard from Silverstream. Except Firestar, Fireheart's not going to take it quite so amazing. Sil Silverstream and I are going to have kits. You realise that the kits would be half clan, just like Stonyfleur and Mistfoot of Stonefur and Mistyfoot of River Clan. Although you're still not sure about their mother's identity, you're on your way back to camp when you encounter Tigerclaw, who discovers that you've been feeding River Clan. Let's see what Blue Star has to say about this. Blue Star says that the feeding of River Clan must end, and she gives you and Greystripe some apprentice duties to punish the two of you. Except she actually doesn't. She doesn't punish you at all. It just tells you. As you can see, there is literally no duties around that I could be required to take part in. And I believe I need to sleep a few times. There it is. Soon, Cinderpore, who has been staying with Yellowfang since her accident on the Thunderpath, becomes an official Medicine Cat apprentice. At the next gathering, which again we're not allowed to attend, seriously, what happened to these gatherings? At the next gathering, Wind Clan and Shadow Clan are angry at Thunderclan for sheltering Broken Star. You notice that Blue Star is taking an interest in the welfare of Misty Foot, Foot and Stonefur. You wonder about this as the clan returns from the gathering. Also, the punishment of you and Greystripe has finally ended. What was my punishment? Right, I'm not entirely sure right now what I'm supposed to be doing, but a good idea whenever you're not sure is literally just chat to everyone. If nothing happens, go out into the ravine. There's usually... S there we go. Oh, Christ. Well, I, I forgot about this part, but before you do this, save, because you're about to get attacked by Tallstar. Oh, I remember this. You want to take on Tallstar last, and Nightstar last, because they're very strong. If you take out these two instead, then you've just got these two to deal with afterwards. And you know how Shadow Clan likes to be a bit of a pain. Now, if I remember, this is one of the few Wind Clan warriors you'll ever fight. Don't bother making a big deal about it. He's no better than the other clans, really. Oh, God. I am rather amu um, interested why Nightstar didn't attack at all. Remedy. Uh, that's a good. That's one of the reasons it's good to have a motherly character in your th in your party, because you can just remedy your characters and get rid of anything really, which is a very good thing to be able to do when you've got when Fireheart's been disabled. All oh, right. Yeah, he's. Hmm. Claws of destruction. This is one of the most useful attacks you will ever gain. Right, first take out Tallstar, because he's the one that's able to resurrect the enemies. And if you beat down Nightstar and he resurrects him, that's a bit of a pain for you to have to deal with. And as you see, he is going to keep trying to resurrect people over and over and over. Don't 
Don't forget to keep Fireheart's SP up. So when you have to, cat catnip it. Oh, that's the end of that. But when your SP gets low, or you think you can't use another attack soon enough, use one of your other characters to catnip him so he gets full SP once more. Ah, retreat! Um, after the battle, Brackenpore is finally made a warrior, and his new name is Brackenfur. That night, Brackenfur sits vigil alone at the camp entrance. You also wonder if it's possible that Mistyfoot and Stonefur are Blue Stars kits. You wonder if it could possibly be true. You also feel very uncertain, seeing as the time for Silverstream's kits to be born is approaching rapidly. And so we'll deal with all of that next time. I will see you in the next episode.